Good morning and welcome to the Feeding House Ministries, a teaching ministry that's interested in your soul and your eternal destination. My name is Pastor Harry Craighead and we welcome you to the Feeding House Ministries. And we want to thank those who have continually contributed to this ministry through PayPal and other sources that we may be enabled and empowered to continually do His work and His will. Today we're going to talk about putting together, thinking up, something done to get ready for an event or undertaking, training, research, arrangement. We're going to talk about preparation. We all must be prepared to do God's work in God's time and in God's way. Stay in God's word and expect the unexpected because it's better to be ready with him in your life then be prepared, unprepared and lost for eternity. If your enemy is secure at all points, be prepared for him. By failing to prepare, you're preparing to fail. The best preparation for tomorrow is doing your best today. We should live our lives as though Christ is coming, not tomorrow, but this afternoon. Don't let difficult circumstances bring you down. God will use them in pre preparation for something greater. Now God has built into creation a cycle of rest and renewal. What looks like death to us is rest to God. Just as rest is preparation for renewal, death is preparation for resurrection. The seasons of life require that we sometimes enter periods of dormancy. We're not dead, but we feel as we've been or become invisible. During such times, we may feel useless and we may wonder whether God will ever use us again. But periods like this are for our protection and preparation. When the time is right, and conditions are safe, God will call us once again into service. Look at it this way. If you want to plant a lawn or a garden, the, t the soil must first be broken up. Even the most productive land and the most uh, must be turned over and tilled every once in a while. Otherwise, growth is difficult and sometimes, if not, impossible. God sometimes prepares the soil of our human hearts to receive his word by a breaking up process. It may be through a disaster like a hurricane, a flood, or fire, or sometimes it comes through sickness, dip, uh, disappointment, or even deep sorrow. If you have been experiencing trouble or heartache, God may be softening the soil of your life so that the seed of his word can grow in you. Yes. Don't fight it. Let him have his way. Yes. Allow him to produce patience and maturity in your heart. And one day you'll thank him for his soil preparation. Yes. Remember, love involves responsibility and always involves sacrifice. You don't really love Christ unless you are prepared to face his task and to take up your cross daily. The final preparation for the inheriting, for inheriting inter eternal life must consist with the abandonment of non-eternal elements. God will prepare the soil and bring forth the fruit. We must be fruitful, to, uh, faithful to plant the seed. This life is not intended to be the place of our perfection, but the preparation for it. Only remember, only good things come from God's hand. He never gives you more than what you can bear. Every burden prepares us for eternity. This world is not our final home. We're to do more than just pass through it. 
Acts 2 tells us the Holy Spirit came at Pentecost to work powerfully in and through us as true believers and to influence our society. And in John chapter 17, verse 18, Jesus prayed to his father, as you sent me into the world, I also send them into the world. Yes. We're to serve others just as Jesus and the apostles did, knowing God and serving him here is perfect preparation yes. for our true eternal home. Yes. Amen? Amen. Thank you.